Hello troops, and today's battle is against the police. Someone once asked me if we were in some serious dire straits here in our country. Would the military fire on civilians? Ask yourself, do you think the military would fire on civilians? No, no, this is a reply to Philadelphia police beating. If the police would whoop your ass for whatever reason, they look like a gang to me. You ever seen police act like that? Have you ever seen police act like that? Have you ever in the entire existence of your life see someone come out and get gang mobbed like that. It wasn't the police. Those were not police officers. Those were cowards with guns. Regardless if they heard or thought these guys were involved in the shooting and this car was in the shooting, regardless of all that, I did not see one police officer jump out with guns drawn saying, freeze, get on the ground. I saw people being snatched, kicked, punched, and beaten. And that had nothing to do with shooting down the street. Because you know just what I do. You know just as well as I do. Somebody got a gun. They surround the car. You, passenger, get out the car. Put your hand to the left. You, rear passenger, get out the car. Put your hands on the hood. You know how they do it. You, passenger behind the driver's seat, get out the car and put your hands on the hood. Passenger, get out, lay on the ground, face down. Did you see that? Did you see that part of the video? Get out the car, motherfuckers! Get out the goddamn car! Get out! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! You didn't see none of that shit. These guys looked like they was looking for somebody and that motherfucker happened to be sitting in the front seat. Here he go, right here! Get that mother... That was a mob. That was not the police. Did they look like police officers to you? Huh? Look like a mob. An angry mob. If they had pitchforks, hoes, rakes, sticks, and bats, those passengers would be dead right now because the mob was out of control. That mob, paid mob, paid to protect those people in that car. All I know is I'm getting a ride to the store. They just picked me up. They, you know, shit. I could have been in the back seat of that motherfucker. You could have been in the back seat of there. Just getting a ride. Could have been somebody's son. Hey, can I get a ride? Well, come on, man. Get in. I'm going that way. Get down the block and get the shit stomped out of you. That shit ain't cool. Especially from the people that are there to protect us. How can you protect me when I think you're going to beat me? How can I trust you when every time I see you, you're beating one of us? Is he black? Is he white? Is he this? Is he that? Don't matter. You beat the shit out of somebody. Mobbed. Angry mob. We call that rolled on. It was rolled on. It's fucked up. Well, the police officers were under a lot of stress because there had been a shooting and a cop had been hurt recently. Well, that was shit. Wasn't you? Why did it? somebody did something else to some other cop? It wasn't me. It wasn't them. Did you catch the ones that did the shit to the cop? Because if you didn't, you can't go around just beating up everybody thinking, oh, God. They look like the guy that beat the cop. They look like the guys that shot at that cop six months ago. These guys hate cops. 
That's bullshit. A mob? Is it mob? That was not the police. Police don't act like that. Just recently, the police came to my house looking for a family member. The motherfucker don't live here! So, it's about 9.30 at night. I go to the front door. Police! It's the police! Open up! Me being the person I am, I'm looking through the peephole first. Shit. Don't tell me the police and shit, and I don't know who the fuck you are. You just say you're the police. Dude. What the fuck? Why are you shining a light through the fucking peephole? I can't even fucking see nothing. Please open the door. Open the fucking door. I'm not opening the door because you say you're the police. You're shining a light in my face. I can't even see you. Police don't do that, honey. Call the police. So, about 30 minutes, me yelling at him through the people. I ain't opening the fucking door. You gotta be fucking crazy. You got a light shining through the peephole. And we ain't, no, no, don't get me wrong. We don't have a hole. The little dot. We don't got the dot. We got the fucking door you open up. Motherfucker shining light in the door. The hundred million candle light. Blinding the motherfucker. You gonna blind somebody and run in their house to look for somebody? You gotta be out your motherfucking mind. The police don't do that. This ain't no fucking raid. Warrant search. You gonna blind somebody at the fucking door and tell them to open the door? The debate went on. I got tired. I'm like, fuck it, look in this. You can look in this motherfucker. Look it, don't search. My wife said, don't let these motherfuckers in there. Fuck them. And I told her, I'm like, if we let them search this motherfucker now, they ain't gonna come back. I ain't got nothing to hide. Your aunt does not live here. Hmm. That cop was so fucking ignorant. That reminds me. About three years ago, we went to Disneyland. We got snowed in and shit. So we had to stay there extra few days. Now, you know, it was New Year's, so we wanted to be, you know, at the castle on New Year's. And we got to see New Year's underneath the castle, fireworks, all that shit. We get home house had been broken to you know, all our Christmas gifts and shit still there motherfuckers take a handful of shit motherfuckers was gone away okay the cops come well you guys got a lot of stuff in here you gonna tell me you can't take a fingerprint off of the door because of the grain of the wood on the door shit's painted the smooth surface has been painted. You tell me you could not take fingerprints off various places in the house. Motherfucker, I watch CSI. I've seen motherfuckers take fingerprints. Man. I watch history's mysteries. I watch shit like that. I know what the fuck you can do and what the fuck you can't do. You came in these black people's house, you looked around and saw flat panel TVs and laptops and shit, and you figure, these motherfuckers wasn't robbed, they just went and got some new shit from somebody else, the shit's probably stolen anyway. Nah, motherfucker, we had fucking receipts until this goddamn day, them son of a bitch ain't found none of that shit, but wait. It wasn't the first time motherfuckers ran up in my house and robbed this shit, stole shit. I had a full blowed out music studio, everything. Computers, all that shit. The house got broken into. Stole all my shit. I gave him a list of shit. It's like it's like seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars worth of equipment here, sir. Are you sure? Am I sure? Am I just putting shit on the list? Motherfucker, we ain't got no goddamn homeowners insurance on this shit. And I'm putting shit on the list for what? I want all this shit back. By the time I got that shit back, oh, sir, because you know me, I'm in the street. I, got, I told him where the shit was. I got my hits, my, my tips, and my boys were telling me where my shit is. I told the police exactly where my shit was. Because I have a family. I don't go do the murder thing no more. If I got receipts for my shit, I don't let the law take care of that shit. So I'm like, hey, my shit is over here. My shit's there. My shit's there. Great, sir. Great, great. They found my shit where it was, where I told them it was, but it took them three years to give it to me. The police have been fucking tubed. Pissed me off. My 